Hello, I'm Don Marsh, and I'm the Local Director for Child Evangelism Fellowship. I want you to know that we have a great summer missions trip for you. Child Evangelism Fellowship is the largest ministry to children in the world, with face-to-face -face ministry in 195 countries. Since no one comes into this world already knowing the gospel, children are the largest unreached people group in the world. Rather than sending people to countries where they don't know the language and culture, CEF trains people to be missionaries in their own countries, and our missionaries serve their own communities for the long term, training more local people to reach the children for Jesus. If you go on a mission trip this summer to any foreign country, it is almost certain that you will be doing ministry to children. It's that important to reach them as early as possible. Just think about how young you were when you first believed. Now let's look at some real missions trips that are presented to teenagers. First, here's a trip to Australia. According to the trip's description, you will be doing some construction work on a multi-purpose building. You may see koala bears and kangaroos while you are working. Then there will be opportunities to share the gospel in public schools and local churches using music, puppets, and testimonies. Children's ministry. As you can see, the cost of this trip is almost $5,000. Next on our side of the world is Cuba. There you will be doing roof repair and make friends with the local children Speaking Spanish may be helpful, and through your friendship, share the love of Jesus to those who will come to watch your team work and play. In other words, children's ministry. This trip costs only $3,400, a bargain. Next, there's Northern Ireland, and I am happy to tell you there is no construction work involved, and you will certainly be doing lots of children's ministry. Your project will involve sharing in a youth ministry by running summer schemes, VBS type programs, for local children in the neighborhoods surrounding your host church in Belfast. By using God's Word, skits, memory verses, and music, the children will learn that they can do all things through Christ. This sounds suspiciously like what we do here and all over the world. Our last missions trip opportunity is to a place called Florida Nature Coast. Where is that? Oh, it's here. And there is no construction work. Your project will involve putting on five-day clubs, VBS-type programs, for local children in the neighborhoods in your own community. By using God's Word, skits, memory verses, and music, the children will learn what the gospel means, how they can be saved, and how to apply God's word to their lives. You will make friends that you are actually likely to see again. You will train with other teens from all over the state of Florida who will be going back to their own hometowns to reach the next generation of teenagers while they are still children. Of course, you will miss the adventure of third world accommodations and the exhilarating risk of dysentery, but this is offset by the ready availability of air conditioning. If your church were to help you raise $4,000 to go to Northern Ireland to do children's ministry, they might rather raise the same money to send 10 of you to the area that you live in. Or they could raise $2,000 to send 5 of you. There are benefits to serving the Lord yourself and the local church that sends you. Let's look at them. First, you will be equipped to do ministry. It will give you training and experience that you can use over and over for the rest of your life. Second, you will make new friends who have this same experience in common all over the state of Florida. Third, you will impact the lives of children in your own community. And fourth, your church will gain an able minister who can teach in their Sunday schools 
and children's ministries effectively. What's next? This is a real take up your cross and follow me moment. Whether you choose this ministry or another, it all begins with deciding whether you will obey the Great Commission or not. If you will obey, then you must follow through. Set aside the week of June 12th for a trip to Johnson University in Kissimmee. That is where you, your friends, and teens from all over the state of Florida will be coming to be equipped for the ministry. After you have learned what to do, you will be ready to do it. That means you have already committed to working five days each week in five-day clubs for the next two weeks. The clubs will be scheduled in advance. Reaching the next generation is not just the job of your moms and dads and grandparents. It's your job, too. The next generation of teens is in elementary school now, and you can share the gospel with them yourself.